understand what's coming up and how excited they are. Yeah, I mean, coming off of last year's campaign where we were 9-2, um, we're close to reaching our goals. You know, we just missed a share of the conference championship and an NCAA playoff road. And that's that's the, the, the progression that we're shooting for. You know, we returned uh, some tremendous upper class. We have a good senior class. You got to couple that with your young guys. Um, excited, but you know, there's still a lot of questions to be answered. Like everybody here today, we're undefeated and excited about our season. You know, it's just what we do from this point till, till September 7th. Talk about uh, returning your quarterback, and uh, it's going to give you some relief knowing that uh, you're not replacing the most important position right now. Yeah, we're fortunate to have uh, Maurice Leak back, and um, you know he played sparingly last year because of his injury. He's coming off a PCL tear, which he had operated on. Uh, he's, he's rehabbing and doing a great job, starting to be very mobile now. Um, he's a leader of our team. He's a leader of our offense, and uh, really, I think we're going to go as he goes next year. Of course, uh, talk about replacing uh, that guy that's in the NFL right now. Uh, sure. There's, okay. there's obviously going to be a lot of competition for that job. Right yeah, now. you know, Jordan Roberts was a great player, one of the best I've ever been around. And, uh, you know, he's having a lot of success now at the NFL level. Um, Right now, it, it's an open competition uh, for that running back job, and that's what we do. We, we want to establish a running game every time. And um, you know, a couple guys that I thought really stepped up in the spring were, uh, you know, junior tailback C.J. Stallworth, uh, who really was hit Jordan's backup last year. Um, and uh, you know, we had a transfer come in mid-year last year, late and settled. Um, who did a tremendous job, and, and a couple of young guys, I think, in our recruiting class. So, there's going to be some great competition, which uh, I'm excited to see moving forward. Yeah, so, uh, you know, so that's 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 uh, you know, I think that's maybe the strength of this team here, and, you know, especially in the secondary. You feel like you've got a good squad there. Right? Yeah, you know, well, we had a defense last year that finished number two in total defense in the whole country. And, uh, you know, we lost three starters from that team. I think we, we filled some of those needs through recruiting. Um, and, you know, I'm a, I'm a defensive guy. And, uh, you, you know, my fly, we're going to play great defense and, and control the football on the offensive side of the ball. So, you know, I, I think that defense just because the number of seniors we have on that side of the ball is is, is going to lead the team. You mentioned uh, Puma in your opening yeah. statements. At, at this level, finding a kicker is not always an easy thing. How big of a boost is it for you guys to have a guy like him that you can depend on back there? Uh, you know, Puma Narendini is a, a tremendous asset to this football program. He handles our punting, our kicking, uh, the field goal PAT responsibilities. So he's got such a strong leg and he's worked hard to become accurate. So now in the field position, when you play great, defense you're giving yourself a chance and, and you know we won some football games because I thought we won the special team battle last year and hopefully we can continue to do so with them. What's that going to be like now facing uh former defensive coordinator Shell that was? Oh George did a great job for us he's a great football coach and I'm excited uh, uh, for his opportunity. Um, you know, I wish moving forward in this conference, the one thing I'm disappointed is next year we don't play everybody in the conference. And uh, the one team we don't see next year is Wesley. And, uh, you know, just because I think that will be a fun rivalry. We have a lot of uh, mutual friends coaching on each staff, but I wish George all the best of luck. He's going to do a tremendous job up there.